breaking news, Akebe Dolu declares, I will not let this happen. No way. No amount of conspiracy will stop state policing in Nigeria as the North rises against Amutekon. Says state police must continue. State police we must have. We will not allow state police to be destroyed by individuals and those who want to bring Nigeria into captivity. Hello, my wonderful people. One of the only persons who is truly speaking against what is going on right now with regards to this Fulani or these uh, people invading into Nigeria with, with no one standing up to them, truly, sincerely speaking, is the governor of Ondo State, Akere Dolu. Some other governors have called him different names. They've called him drunk and all that. And guess what? It's not happening. It is it, not budging. He's speaking out and he's saying, this is not right. I'm not going to allow it. No, no way. I'm not going to allow it. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Governor Oluro Timi Akere Dolu of Ondo State has said that no amount of conspiracy can stop the agitation for state police in the country. Akere Dolu said that this said this at the weekend, why distributing petrol vehicles to security agencies in the state. The governor donated 50 fitted patrol vehicles to all state agencies as part of the commitment of his administration to further strengthen the security of security of lives and properties of the people in the state. He stressed that every Nigerian is coming in turn with the current creation of the evil going on. Some powerful persons in the north who had earlier condemned the initiation of Amutekun have begun to see the importance of establishing it for the protection of lives and property. Speaking on the distribution of petrol vehicles to the, to the security agencies. The governor said it was towards boosting the capacity of our men in line of duty to fighting crimes. Defeated vehicles were distributed to the Army, Navy, Police, Civil Defense Corps, Department of State Services, and Amotekun Corps. Akire Dulu said that the commissioning and handling over of the additional 50 vehicles was a further demonstration of his commitment to providing the needed support for all security agencies operating in the state. He said that his administration placed a premium on the dignity of human lives, vowing to smoke out all criminals in the state from their hiding places and making the state comfortable for all to live in. We will not allow criminal elements and we will continue to prevail on the federal government to establish state policing, which is the way forward. We are not going to allow certain individuals to be determinants of what happened when they have no care for those who are being castigated and what is going on currently today. We will not allow them to destabilize and take that which belongs to us. We will keep Nigeria safe and we do all necessary to ensure the protection of lives and property. Akire Dulu promised to continue to assist the security agencies for the protection of lives and property in the state. Well, Mr. Akire Dulu has spoken and um, that's Akire Dulu for you. He's one person who, with all that is currently on ground, do not want the people of his state, okay, as a right-thinking uh, uh, governor, does not want the people of his state to suffer, you know, unnecessarily because of some individuals. And so what is he doing? He's putting all in place and doing that, which is absolutely right and necessary for the protection of lives and properties. He's gone ahead to distribute vehicles to assist the people to ensure that, you know, they have, uh, you know, they, they have the assistance to be able to move from point A to point B so that, you know, they can adequately be able to look after themselves and bring about all, you know, uh, be able to chase criminals as at when due to ensure that, you know, people are safe. 
which is absolutely right, which is the right thing to do. But Buhari's administration, just like you can see, he fought against, you know, he vehemently fought against uh, currently what we are having. He fought against, uh, you know, the, the whole new electoral process. In fact, after signing it, he did not know when he signed it. He came back to say he wants to unsign it. And he said, no, it does not work that way. You see, the people in government, sadly, most of them are the determinants and those who are currently working against the country for moving forward. The same people who are supposed to be you know, in charge of leadership, in charge of making sure that things are done decently and in order. They are the ones working against the liberty, the country moving forward or anything that could possibly okay, make this nation become a safe place for us all. So there is time for everything. Okay, there is time for everything. This is what is happening right now and why, you know, we all must, with one accord, ensure that we do not allow these conspirators and those who are destabilizing the nation to continue in that stead. We must rise up to the occasion and we must do that, which is absolutely right and necessary for us to be a nation and a people with a voice. And we, yeah, we can boldly say, you know, we, we, we are able to, bring you know about uh, that which could help us buhari's administration oh maybe he has signed a pact with those who are destroying the nation and so he does not want to do anything to protect nigerians no in fact he wants to make nigeria more porous okay more accessible to this wicked people to be able to have their way and i wonder why honestly sincerely speaking i sincerely wonder why why the president does not care for the individuals he's supposed to be president over. It's quite a shocking thing, honestly, quite a shocking. So, I mean, Rotimi Amechi has said it loud and clear that, you know, it is what it is. This insecurity, all hands must be on deck. And he's, you know, trying to encourage other security agencies in his state so that everybody, you know, will not see that he's only supporting Amutekon and not supporting others. So he's, you know, he's supporting both the Navy, the Army, the police, and is insisting to the federal government that the state policing is not, is not something we can undermine and just push our eyes off. No, it's a must. It's something that must happen. We, we cannot underrate or undermine the place of state security, you know, policing. It is compulsory it is important and so every hands must be on deck to ensure that you know security becomes a top notch and becomes the real deal okay it is important very important and so this is what akiri Dole is saying saying it is a, it is it is right for us to do that which is necessary to move the people and to move the nation forward yes it is what it is Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.